What is up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new toy unboxing brought to you by J&J Toy Giants. I'm your host, JD. My name is Jaden. And today, we're going to be going over some Ghostbusters Frozen Empire action figures made by Hasbro. Got these over at uh, Walmart. I believe they're only Walmart exclusives because I have not seen them in Target. And they are brand new figures that are basically off of the new uh, film that just came out last week. Uh, and so Jaden has gotten three uh, today and he also got the Echo 1 last week and we're going to go over some of those figures. Uh, we have not seen the movie, so hopefully we'll be able to get that, uh, you know, see the movie pretty, pretty soon. But we're going to go over and unbox these nonetheless. One thing real quick, just to get the little housekeeping out of the way. If you guys are just joining us for the very first time, thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to like that subscribe, like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you can get alerted when any of our new videos come out and also find us over at Patreon and become a Patreon member. Uh, Jaden, why don't you give us a little bit of uh, information on what, what these uh, figures, like what made you want to buy them? Um, what made them want me to buy them is because they're newer toys and they have more stretchy appearance and obviously it comes with newer ghostbusters than like the last time when it was the main four yep so the uh, these actual figures have uh, what they call a little ecto stretch tech uh which basically means that you can actually kind of move them around a little bit as far as the ghosts are concerned so what we're going to do like we always do, we're going to let them let breathe. breathe. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, Phoebe, the first part of this unboxing. She was actually already unboxed because <laughs> Jaden got her last week along with the Ecto-1, which we're going to be going over. But so Phoebe basically is the Egon Spangler of the newer version of the Ghostbusters movie. She's also the daughter of Carrie and the sister of Trevor. Now I wanted to preface this real quick before Jaden actually goes over the figure. This is not part of the Plasma series. As you can see, these are very uh, like not scale with the Plasma series. They don't have a lot of articulation. Now when Ghostbusters Afterlife came out, they did have some of these figures like Gary, uh, Trevor and Phoebe as uh, part of the Plasma series. So. I'm not sure if they're gonna be coming out with these particular Plasma series specifically on the new movie. We don't know yet. I haven't seen anything online, but rest assured, hopefully they'll be able to make its way for the Plasma series. Yeah. Also, um, every toy that we're gonna show up always comes with a ghost. So Phoebe comes with this blue ghost skeleton with a silly face. Yeah, now, Real quick, and I'm trying not to hit the camera here. So these are actually all stretchy, like we talked about before. Hasbro has kind of like developed this new ecto stretch technology, is what they were calling it. So you can actually put the ghosts right on the figure and stretch them out. You know, put them right in the middle here so people can see. So at this point in time, you can kind of move them around. You can put them on the, the, the figures and kind of stretch them out as if they were uh, being taken over by the ghosts which is pretty cool. You can see that there. But you can also take them off. Now, of course, this is kind of like a, an homage back to the uh, old retro uh, Ghostbusters figures that were made by Kenner back in the day because they all, the real, the real Ghostbusters cartoon, if you remember, and of course you've seen some of our other videos, if you've seen the uh, older videos, but when we've unboxed the real Ghostbusters cartoon figures, they all came with their own ghost. So that's kind of something that they were actually doing with this particular series as well. I kind of, you know, realized that that was kind of like an homage to the old series. They did the same thing with the same figures like this. Egon, Ray, Peter, um, Winston. Winston. They all came with their ghosts that were not stretchy, but they no, were No, but they were like, plastic. they were like really hard plastic. And you actually, they would open features. Yeah. But I like these stretchy. Ones. One of the things that I'm actually on the hunt right now is the new, the re-releases from Hasbro of the Fright feature, the, or the Fright uh, Ghostbusters, where they actually have like this little scared action, kind of like what you see right here. Oh. So they're actually coming out with those. And I believe they're only exclusive to Target because I have not seen them in Walmart. So why, that's pretty much like this is exclusive to Walmart. So now Target has their own exclusive, which is the retro 
uh, fright, the fright feature uh, Ghostbusters from the old tenor line that they're re-releasing. Now, as you can see, right, Jaden, they don't have a lot of articulations. Their arm goes up, they go down, legs go this way, they go that way in the back. Their heads move, right? They do have the their uh, proton pack, which you can actually, you know, hook it on the back as, as well. There's this peg right here on that back. You hook it up, take that, hold the hand down. Put yeah, it so they in. do have all of them come with C grip hands, so they can hold the the proton pack on each uh, arm. Uh, you can try to try to get them to do two arms, but it's really hard to do when they're not articulated on the arms. So, but it, you can do it. It, it. It's not. It's not impossible. What do you like about this particular uh, figure? What so I like far? about is how um, he came with this. Blue, it's not a he. It's a she. Oh, <laughs> when she came with this blue skeleton with this funny face, I like it really much. Because maybe in the movie... Uh, there, this might be one of the ghosts yeah, in the movie. We don't maybe know. Maybe there could be a comedy show and then this comes up and then just sticks the tongue out and starts laughing. I know when I watched the... When we did the review, I actually did a reaction figure, a reaction video of the, the trailer when it came out a few months back of uh, Finn Wolfhard, who plays Trevor. He gets slimed by Slimer. Yeah. All right, and so now we're gonna go over to the next one. So, All right, so next up we got Trevor, who's pretty much the Bill Murray uh, portion of this actual film. So like Phoebe is the Egon Spangler version of the film, and Trevor is the Bill Murray version of this film because he's always the one with the jokes, just like uh, Peter was. And his ghost, and you can see is Slimer. So that pretty much makes him the Bill Murray just by that alone, because he comes with a Slimer, you know, Peter Venkman and Slimer have a, uh, a very tumultuous past of always being uh, on each other's nerves and stuff like that. And Slimer always sliming uh, Peter. But the same thing, Trevor does come with this proton pack. And it, just like uh, Jaden said, there is a mold in the back of their uh, the figure where you can actually just press it again so they, their proton packs can stay on like that. But you can also take the handle off if you want. Um, also with this, there's two different Slimers in this, um, line with the, that, it comes with a di different Slimer, his arms are up here, and they, like, um, looks like he wants to eat. These ones are hanging down below, so they're two different, and, uh, they're the same as the other ones. So show them the other uh, the other slimer. So this is the other slimer. This comes with this. This slimer comes with the Ecto one, and this slimer comes with Trevor. So yeah. Yeah. So I mean, essentially, they each even the, the vehicles, which is going to be the obviously the Ecto one, comes with an actual ghost as well. Yeah. And again, they, they all have the same articulation. This one's a little bit taller because Finn Wolfhard is a little taller than Phoebe. Uh, or Trevor, I should say. Finn Wolfhard is the name of the actor that plays Trevor. But Trevor is a little bit taller than Phoebe because he's an older he's the older brother. Um, same articulation. There's nothing on, on the elbows, nothing on the knees, just at the waist and the shoulders and head. Yeah. And which was really weird because I, I, th I figured they would have given Trevor a little bit longer hair because of the fact that Finn Wolfhard's uh, hair is very, very long. All right, so what's going to go to the next one? All right, so the next figure that we're going to be going over is Carrie, who is the mom of Phoebe and Trevor. Also is, I believe, her and Gary are in a relationship. Like we all we all saw that uh, love relationship, uh, you know, develop when we saw the movie Ghostbusters Afterlife. But yeah, so what, what did you want to talk about? Uh, so in this, this is the same thing that happened in Ghostbusters One. She became possessed by the demo. Oh the, yeah, so she became uh, the she gargoyle. became one of the, the the demon dogs. Yeah, the demon uh, dogs for Gozer. So she's kind of like the Dana Barrett. 
of this particular movie. Yeah, and then we finally get to see what's the that uh uh one who asks Ray, "Are oh, you a god?" That's Gozer. Yeah, Gozer. Gozer finally appears in here, and then Ray actually answers, "Yes, we are all gods." <laughs> finally, he says that. Yeah, because Winston always says, "Remember what Winston says." Exactly. We always. Anybody ever ask you if anyone are you a god? If a ghost is in front of you and asks if you're a god, you say yes. <laughs> but this one actually comes. It almost kind of looks like an onion. This uh, ghost. Yeah. And of course, they're all stretchy. This one's a little bit more stretchy than the other ones. I think this is supposed to be a trash bag. See? Oh yeah, that does make sense. To see how there's a bow in it. Yeah. And then uh, there's feet. So. Yeah, and th finally, one of the ghosts actually can stand. Yeah, that is true. Well, some this is the, pretty much one of the only few that can actually stand, even though it's going to fall over now because it's windy outside. Uh, but yeah, so essentially, uh, I'm interested to see. Uh, you know, we might even go see the movie tonight. You never know. Yeah. But um, definitely, we have to uh, watch this movie to kind of get the 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 idea of what's going to go on in this movie. But. Um, and how they all be all decided to be, have the Ghostbusters team uh, open up the actual uh, what is it the the station yeah at the, the firehouse oh uh, yeah Re uh, remember the girl uh, the lady who says Ghostbusters what do you want yeah. she appears and when Peter comes I forget what he says but he says her name Janine Janine yeah wow Janine in a suit. And then they're like, she's like, Ghostbusters, what do you want? <laughs> classic, classic. When, when Jaden was a little younger, we actually watched the first and second movie. And then you watched Afterlife. We went yeah. to go in the theaters to go yeah. watch Afterlife. Remember with Olive and Uncle Lenny? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so shout out to Uncle Lenny and Olive. Go ahead and, and, and um, watch Olive's uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put the link of her YouTube channel in the description here. Uh, but there's really nothing. It's very basic on this particular figure. She doesn't really have any kind of deco hits or anything like that. Uh, very, very plain when it comes to her because she's kind of a clean cut figure. Same C grip hands you can see on both hands. And of course, the same mold to keep the uh, backpack on. Uh, or the proton pack. She also has different hair than everybody. Yeah, different hair mold um, on her hair. I wonder how would you put this? What would she be? If you were putting her as a Ghostbuster, uh, well, like I said, I think she's more like the Dana Barrett of this version of the Ghostbusters. That, yeah. That's my my personal opinion. I'm thinking, I'm predicting in the movie, like when all the ghosts come, one person goes out to throw out their trash, and one of the trash surprises them. Is like, hello, and then they run. Oh, you never know. It might. No. Cause like maybe it would be like this, and then soon he realizes, oh my, oh my, and there's like hello, and then they could run. All right, so we're gonna go over to the last Ghostbuster of the video, and then we're gonna go ahead and review the Ecto One. Let's go to the next one. All right, so finally, the the final Ghostbusters we're gonna be unboxing today or have unboxed is Gary. Gary was a school teacher that. Um, Phoebe and uh, Trevor met when they moved out to the sit to the little countryside little town of their grandfather's house and he was actually inve or investigating what was going on in the town obviously they found out that Gozer was trying to uh, get free and which then he decided to become a Ghostbusters along with uh, Trevor and Phoebe and uh, was it Radio? Was that it's called Radio or? Yeah, one of the kids Phoebe met. Yeah, one of the I think his, his name was Radio. Oh, I think there's um Trevor's girlfriend was in it. Yeah, but as you can see, he it, this is Paul Rudd's character. Uh, doesn't really look like Paul Rudd. I don't. I'm gonna put a picture right here to see. I know these are supposed to be kind of like a little animated, uh, and not exactly like I said that the plasma series would be more of the likeness. But you guys tell me, does this even re look remotely uh, to Paul Rudd or what? I don't think so. Okay, so this ghost name is called Puker. Because you can see, what is this? Yeah, because he's puking. 
cute thing. You, I think he would go perfect with Muncher. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Munch and puke. And I'm surprised Muncher doesn't make an appearance in this movie. No, but it, it was it, one of my favorite ghosts. Yeah, it was sad that they left Cyber out of Afterlife and then put it back in. Well, I mean, if you have to have if you have to have the Ghostbusters, you have to have Slimer. Yeah, but in the 2016 remake, Slimer was in there and he had a girlfriend. In the, yeah, the, those were the ones with the uh, all the women. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I mean, essentially, it, it, it sounds a little bit repetitive, but essentially, this is these are what we call basic figures. They're not that um, detailed like we normally see with the plasma series. So naturally, like I said, they're not going to have any good like big deco heads. And when I say deco heads, meaning that de uh, deco heads meaning like any paint, um, you know, on here other than the Ghostbuster logo here and their names on here and the color of their belt. So not a lot of deco heads, no uh, articulation on the elbows, knees, or even on the torso. Sometimes ultimate figures uh, or, you know, more detailed figures will have some uh, articulation in the torso. But, I mean, they're pretty much all the same body molds, if you really ask me. They're just a little bit different just because of the fact that they're, uh, some of them are a little bit bigger than the others. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, essentially, these are actually really cool figures. I actually didn't even know that they were even coming out. I thought uh, they already came out right before the, the trailer came out, but they actually were seen in stores recently, at least in our area in Albany. Uh, but you guys, if you, if you guys are a big, good uh, Ghostbuster collector, you definitely want to get these just because if you're a completist, you have to have these. I think this is perfectly goes on him. See? Yeah. Because he pukes uh, on there's him. a hole. Yeah. So then you put it on him, and he's on his face, and then he's just puking. Yeah. And then he falls off. And that does it for this edition of the JJ Toy Giants YouTube channel Toy Unboxing Again. I am your host, JD. My name's Jaden. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Patreon, X. Instagram and Facebook and follow us on TikTok and Twitch. Thank you so very much, guys. And thank you so very much for the 1,000 subscribers. We are so, so happy and supportive. And thank you for everyone who supported us. Long time coming for four years in the making. But thank you so very much. Keep on cruising.